In the vast annals of television history, where stories have woven themselves into our collective memory, there exists a singular gem that dares to defy conventional genres and beckons us into a realm of adventure and intrigue. Picture this, it's a balmy evening, the faint scent of popcorn in the air, and there you are, perched in front of a flickering screen, the anticipation of the unknown coursing through your veins. The year is 1965, and amidst the technicolor dreamscape of television, the wild, wild west gallops onto the scene, leaving an indelible mark on the canvas of our imaginations. Ah, that first encounter. The theme music swirls around you like a dance of promise, a harmonious blend of suspense and whimsy that tugs at your curiosity. And there they are, James West and Artemis Gordon, two enigmatic figures striding through the corridors of the bazaar and the unexplained, armed not just with gadgets, but with their quick wit and unshakable camaraderie. Together, they unravel mysteries in a landscape where the lines between the Wild West and steampunk innovation blur, a concoction so uniquely potent that you find yourself engrossed beyond measure. Perhaps it's the memory of the villainous Dr. Loveless, a mastermind with an unyielding penchant for dastardly contraptions, or the kinetic energy of the action sequences that send your heart racing. And how can we forget those moments that melded suspense and laughter, leaving an imprint as lasting as a well-pressed boot print in the dusty trails of memory? It's a tapestry of experiences that binds us to the show, a reverberation that echoes through the corridors of time. But wait, dear reader, for the curtain has not yet fallen. As we step into the wings of history, let's unveil some lesser-known facets of the wild, wild west that gleam like nuggets waiting to be discovered. These anecdotes, like hidden treasures, shed light on the creative tapestry woven behind the scenes, enriching our appreciation of this magnetic series. So, prepare to journey with me through the labyrinthine corridors of information, as we delve into the intriguing facts and intriguing tidbits about the show that charmed and captivated us all. From the origin of its inception to the unforeseen twists in its narrative, every detail is a thread that weaves its spell, beckoning us to embrace the allure of this timeless creation. And now, my fellow voyagers through time, as we embark on this expedition of discovery, remember that every tale is a testament to the human spirit of innovation and the insatiable thirst for the extraordinary. So, sit back, relax, and let's journey into the realm of the wild, wild west together, a place where the past and the future dance in synchrony. The as wilds dreams are wild forged west, against the backdrop of 1965 TV series, blends the genres of western and espionage in a unique and captivating way. Created by Michael Garrison, the show follows two secret service agents, James West and Artemis Gordon, as they tackle various missions for President Ulysses S. Grant. Set in the post-Civil War era, the series expertly combines action, adventure, and science fiction elements. James West, portrayed by Robert Conrad, is a suave and skilled gunslinger, while Artemis Gordon, played by Ross Martin, is a master of disguise and gadgetry. Together, they combat various villains, including the memorable Dr. Miguelito Loveless, a brilliant and eccentric madman. The show's distinctive style emerges from its fusion of historical elements with futuristic technology, creating an intriguing steampunk atmosphere. The Wild Wild West made a lasting impact on popular culture. Its inventive blend of genres influenced future TV series and films, inspiring the steampunk subculture. The show's iconic opening sequence and memorable theme music are still recognized today. Its success led to a made-for-TV movie in 1979 and a 1999 feature film adaptation. In the realm of trivia, the show's unique gadgets and contraptions were often created by Michael Garrison himself, reflecting his engineering background. Additionally, the series faced controversy due to its occasional violence and mature themes, leading to censorship challenges. Beyond its initial run, the Wild Wild West remains a testament to creative storytelling that transcends traditional genre boundaries, leaving an indelible mark on television history. Did you know that actor Robert Conrad did many of his own stunts on the show? contributing to the intense action sequences. Ross Martin's portrayal of Artemis Gordon was so well received that he won multiple awards for his performance. Intrigue and innovation, the wild, wild west unveils steampunk inspirations in the midst of the 1965 television landscape. A unique and enigmatic show emerged, capturing the attention of audiences with its blend of adventure, espionage, and anachronistic technology. 
The Wild Wild West, a series following the escapades of agents James West and Artemis Gordon, quickly established itself as a trailblazer in the realm of television storytelling. Beneath the surface of its intriguing narratives, however, lie fascinating tidbits that illuminate the show's distinctiveness. One standout feature was the charismatic portrayal of Jim West by Robert Conrad, a figure whose on-screen presence was amplified by a subtle yet significant detail. Conrad, embodying the suave secret agent, sported three-inch heels, subtly enhancing his stature and exuding an air of confidence. Moreover, this height-centric approach wasn't confined to the leading man alone. Behind the scenes, the CBS casting office adhered to an intriguing directive, refraining from hiring any women exceeding five feet six inches in height. This curiously specific stipulation infused the show's universe with a distinct visual dynamic, reflecting an era where appearance often played a pivotal role. Delving deeper, a recurring narrative thread emerged that presaged an entire subgenre in the years to come. The series showcased ingenious scientists situated in the 1870s who ingeniously conjured technology that would only materialize decades later, a term that would encapsulate this blend of Victorian sensibilities. And futuristic innovation came into being in the 1980s, steampunk. This whimsical term neatly encapsulated the show's retro-futuristic essence, capturing the essence of its forward-looking inventions within the framework of a bygone era. Interestingly, the Wild Wild West wasn't always bestowed with its evocative title. Initially conceived as the Wild West, a decision was reached to enhance its appeal by augmenting its name. Thus, the Wild Wild West was born, a moniker that exudes a sense of exhilarating dualism, mirroring the show's blend of genres and adventures. In the annals of television history, the Wild Wild West remains a distinctive anomaly, straddling various genres while leaving an indelible mark on pop culture. With its style, intrigue, and an uncanny ability to foreshadow the future through its fantastical inventions, the show continues to captivate audiences, all the while echoing its own unique piece of history. Uncredited Maestro, the hidden composer of the Wild Wild West theme in the annals of television history, the Wild Wild West remains an enduring icon of the mid-1960s. With its fusion of Western grit and gadget-laden espionage, the series captured the imaginations of viewers across the nation. Yet, amidst the rolling landscapes and daring escapades, a hidden tale of musical brilliance unfolds, centering around the enigmatic composer Richard Markowitz. It was Markowitz who orchestrated the unforgettable theme that reverberated through living rooms each week, setting the stage for the daring exploits of James West and Artemis Gordon. Paradoxically, although his composition set the tone for the show's eclectic blend of genres, he never received the official recognition he deserved. Strangely absent from the credits of both the show's episodes and the subsequent film adaptation Wild Wild West, Markowitz's theme remains a shadowy figure in the limelight he helped shape. The irony deepens as one contemplates the profound impact of his work. The show's pulsating theme, a symphonic fusion of western twang and spy thriller suspense, became synonymous with its identity. And yet, Markowitz's name stayed hidden in plain sight, a silent conductor of sonic narratives. As we celebrate the lasting legacy of the Wild Wild West, it's essential to recognize the maestro behind the scenes, Richard Markowitz. In the tapestry of television lore, his untold story adds yet another layer to the show's mystique, a testament to the often unheralded artisans shaping our cultural landscape. Rory Calhoun's Uncharted West, unveiling the origins of the Wild Wild West casting in the annals of television history. Few shows have left as indelible a mark as the iconic 1965 series, The Wild Wild West. Delving into the untamed frontiers of the Old West, this daring blend of espionage and Western adventure sparked the imaginations of viewers across the nation. While Robert Conrad's portrayal of James West is etched into pop culture lore, an intriguing twist of fate reveals that another name was initially destined for the role. Rory Calhoun, a celebrated Hollywood figure of the era, had been pegged to steer the show's charismatic lawman, James West. 
But fate's capricious hand intervened, setting the stage for Conrad's enduring legacy. Although Calhoun's interpretation might have ushered the series down an alternative avenue, it was Conrad's magnetic presence that electrified screens and solidified the show's iconic status. As the narrative unfolded week after week, Conrad demonstrated a fierce commitment to his role, venturing beyond scripted lines to orchestrate his own kinetic choreography. This commitment extended to executing his own stunts, bringing a raw authenticity to the daring escapades. However, a perilous twist of fate awaited. In a heart-stopping turn, a meticulously planned stunt took a tragic detour, nearly claiming Conrad's life. This shocking incident reframed the show's dynamic, prompting the introduction of specialized stunt professionals to safeguard both actor and narrative. The Wild Wild West encountered its share of setbacks, yet none so profound as Ross Martin's unforeseen health crisis during the fourth season. Martin's absence reverberated through the show, causing a narrative reconfiguration that saw Charles Aidman, William Shallard, Alan Hale Jr., John Williams, and Steve Carlson stepping into the breach, infusing the series with an unexpected tapestry of performances. Nine episodes bore the hallmark of Martin's absence, with the show's production order orchestrating this unusual patchwork ensemble. However, Martin's triumphant return in episode 102, aptly titled The Night of the Diva, marked a turning point. While only four episodes were shot after his return, his presence remained a testament to the resilience of the series and its stars. As the curtain closed on the wild, wild west, the tumultuous journey behind the scenes mirrored the gripping narratives that enthralled audiences. From Calhoun's could have been tenure to Conrad's daring choreography, and the dramatic reshuffling of characters due to Martin's health scare, the show's legacy endures as a mesmerizing blend of artistry and unpredictability. In the heart of the west, where gunfights and espionage entwine, the tale of the Wild Wild West unfolds as a testament to the indomitable spirit of television's golden age. As we ride off into the sunset of memories, our minds can't help but linger on the enigmatic world of the Wild Wild West. The whirring gears of its steam-powered adventures, the suspense that clung to the air like the scent of gunpowder, and the undeniable charm of James West and Artemis Gordon. It's a journey that took us from dusty saloons to high-tech laboratories, seamlessly blending the rugged spirit of the frontier with the allure of espionage. But what truly makes this series timeless isn't just the riveting plots or the ingenious contraptions. It's that secret corner of your heart where the wild, wild west carved a niche. Perhaps it's the way you found yourself holding your breath during each daring escapade. Or maybe it's the catch in your throat when James West's determination mirrored your own resilience. And let's not forget the way Artemis' quick wit and array of disguises left an indelible mark, inviting you to embrace your own hidden facets. As we bid adieu to this remarkable journey, take a moment to delve into your treasure trove of memories from the show. What episode made you a true believer in the magic of storytelling? Which character's quirks still bring a smile to your face? How did this series intertwine with your own life narrative? We're all explorers of time, and the wild, wild west remains a beacon, guiding us to the heart of our individual stories. So, gather round the proverbial campfire and share your cherished memories, your insights, and your reflections on how this series touched your soul. It's in these moments that we weave a tapestry of connection, transcending time and space, much like the show itself. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us, for letting the echoes of the wild, wild west resonate in your heart. Your stories are the true legacy of this extraordinary series, keeping its spirit alive for generations to come. Keep the spirit of adventure alive, and until we meet again in the untamed realms of imagination, remember, the West never truly ends, it lives on in each of us.